Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to the second season of Skiller vs. Skiller. So this is a series that I actually did on FIFA 17, and it was one of my most, you know, popular videos, so I've decided to carry on into FIFA 18. So if you don't know what this series is, it's basically, um, it's very, you know, self-explanatory. Basically, it's where I play against another Skiller, and then the aim of the video is to score, you know, um, good skill goals. So our first opponent today is Halder96, so we'll leave all his YouTube links and his Twitter link in the description below so definitely go and check out his channel he's one of the best skillers on xbox and he has some really cool compilations on his channel so getting into the match now um just like on fifa 17 skiller skiller versus skiller i'm going to be you know talking about a few topics through part of the video rather than you know commentating over the gameplay for the whole of the video because you know it just get a bit boring um if i just you know keep commentating over the video so the first thing i want to talk about is um, my opinion on skilling on FIFA 18 so far. So what I can really recognise um, from this game compared to FIFA 17 is not too much to be honest because um, in my opinion it feels like FIFA 17 but you know just a little bit slower um, and scaling wise I think the only real big difference is that AI defending has been turned down quite a lot while it's good but also in the uh, most recent patch I think it's been you know turned up a little bit more again because you know a lot of people were complaining about how hard it was to you know defend on this game um, but apart from that the other thing that I've noticed is when performing skill moves now we have to get like the timing perfect um, on FIFA 17 it wasn't so much, but this year you literally have to be running at, you know, the exact speed, um, you know, to, in order to perform, you know, the running skill moves such as the running wacka wacka, running double touch exit, um, etc. So yeah, that's one thing I've really noticed about this FIFA. And then another thing I've noticed is how much harder it is to score skill goals. Now, for some reason, on FIFA 17 and, you know, Division 10 and 9, you could easily, you know, come against um, what I would call, you know, noobs. You can really, you know, quite easily score good skill goals against. But for some reason this year, there doesn't really seem to be too many. You know, the average quality of a FIFA player's abilities just seem to improve loads for some reason. Uh, I think maybe one reason is due to foot champions. And another reason is because of, you know, squad battles, it's really easy to finish um, and get really good rewards. Um, so yeah, if people are getting like better teams, what uh, means, you know, they have better players and what results in them playing better. So I think that's, you know, one of the reasons why it's so much harder to score skill goals at this, um, on this FIFA, you know, compared to FIFA 17. But at the moment, guys, I am actually working on my first compilation with a FIFA skiller called Dav. So that should hopefully be out by the end of the week. Um, if not early next week, I've scored basically all the goals now. I just need to get a few more, um, and then I should be able to finish. So as you can see, guys, um, I have actually uploaded for the past few days now, you know, consistently. My aim at the start of the week was to try and upload every single day. Now, it's actually pretty hard as well because I've got a lot of college work um, and I have to have it, you know, done by certain dates. So, um, I'm going to, you know, try my best to upload every single day this week. But if I can't, you know, I'll try and at least upload five videos out of the seven um, days in a week. So, hopefully, guys, you know, come back every single day to my channel um, to check out, you know, new videos. And as well as that, I just want to say, I also am going to be starting a few trading videos on my channel. I've just uploaded my first ever trading video onto my channel. It has, it's got, you know, a few mixed opinions because um, most people are subscribed to my channel for, you know, gameplay and scaling. Um, so anyway, now, got, now guys, getting into the video. As you can see, we finished the first match and I managed to win it 1-0. Um, then we decided to go into a second match because, um, you know, the first match, there wasn't really too many chances and I don't think the video would have been long enough um, just playing one match. So the first chance we get there in the second match, we do a nice sombrero flick there, take the shot with Neymar, and then it's a pretty comfortable save for his goalkeeper. Then in the next chance here, we do some skill with skill moves with Jesus. Banny wins the ball back, does a nice hocus pocus there with Jelson Martins, does a nice running Balassi flick, and that's actually a new skill move in FIFA um, FIFA 18, because on FIFA 17, you couldn't actually do the running a Akotra flick, you could only do it while standing, but on FIFA 18, you're now able to do it by running. Um, so yeah, that's a really cool thing EA have added to the game. Now the next chance here again comes to um, Helder. He gets the ball there, does some nice skill moves to the off-ball dribbling Waka Waka. And I really need to improve my you know off-ball dribbling combos this year. Um, because for some reason I just can't seem to be able to do them you know as consistent as last year. I could basically do them 10 out of 10 times on the previous FIFA. But for some reason EA decided to change the button from LB to LB. RB on Xbox and it just feels you know so weird now after getting used to using LB instead of RB so I'm gonna have to try and adapt um, to that so the next chance here we get a free kick here with Kresma after some nice skill moves and then sadly the free kick does go um, quite um, far wide of the goal 
and then the next chance here, um, Halder wins the ball back there. Um, he plays it out wide to Nanny. Nanny does a running Okocha flick there. Runs past my defender. Does a nice... Um, I'm not actually so sure what that skill move's called exactly, but it's one of the new skill moves, and it looks pretty nice. Then again, he does another off-ball um, running Waka Waka, and those combos just look so nice this year. So, guys, that was the end of the uh, th um, second match, and Banny won it. I'm sorry, not Banny. Halder won it 1-0 uh, with a really nice goal. So, guys, this has been the video. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.